by the Lord of sea and sky. I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I will make the stars of night, I will make the darkness bright, who will bear my light to them, whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord, if you leave me. I will hold your people in my heart. Let's begin this celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, the commandment of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning. This Mass is offered for the repose of soul of James Noonan. Today is the solemnity of Joseph the spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. As we come around the altar of the Lord to celebrate the sacred message, pass for a moment, call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your Church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. The Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. 
Forever I will maintain my kindness for him, for him, and my covenant from him stands firm. The Son of the Day will live it forever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not to the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith, so that it may be a gift, and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not only to those who adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of all of us, as it is written, I have made you the father of many nations. He is our father inside God, in whom he believes, who gives life to the dead, and calls him into being. But does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said. Thus shall your descendants be, and that is why it is credited to him as righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, O Lord, they never cease to praise you. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of her was born Jesus who is called the Christ. This is how the birth of Jesus came about when his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph before they lived together. She was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph's husband, since he was a righteous man yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord has commanded him, and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate the solemnity of Joseph. If I ask you who is Joseph, you have so many notions about Joseph. A just man, a tireless worker, upright guardian, father of Jesus, a man who spoke very little. If we really, I really admire the guys who wrote book on Joseph, huge book on Joseph. I don't know how they write those things. But what my mind tells is very simple. It's a man of few words. We know only a notion, a concept of Joseph of Matthew's Gospel. For curiosity, I read some apocryphal literature, which means not recognize a canonical book in the Catholic Church. There's a Gospel of Thomas, Gospel of John, and Gospel of uh, so many guys who are not the canonical Gospel. One of the stories says one of the canonical Gospels, the apocryphal is, when Jesus was a little boy, he was just looking at the waters and trees. A little boy, what he did, he put a little stone on Jesus. So Jesus turned back at the boy, and the boy froze to death. It's a apocryphal literature. And immediately the parents of the boy come to the Joseph and say, what type of child do you have? Seem to be a very uh, crazy guy. And he put my son to death. And the story is, Joseph talked to the, Jesus and consoled. He talks about the fatherliness of Joseph and the son of Jesus. Wait, I don't know if that's true, but coming into life of Joseph, three things today we can contemplate. One is, he was a just man, a righteous man. Second thing, he was a tireless worker. 
Those days he didn't go to the office, work in a computer, or go to school and teach. He was a carpenter, worked with his hands. Third, an upright man. Let's see how what some of the people say about, contemporary leaders say about St. Joseph. Pope Benedict the Emeritus says, let's allow ourselves to be infected by the silence of St. Joseph. We have much need of it in a world which is too often noisy, which does not encourage reflection and listening to the voice of God. Powerful. That has been infected by the silence of Joseph. What is the silence? Silence is not just keeping mum. The silence is something you're allowing God's voice to speak in your life and everything comes from your mouth, your action, response. The response is God's act, the will of God. In a world that is noisy, today one of the challenges I can post in Lenten is you can avoid fish on Friday, but to keep your mouth shut for the whole day is difficult. You have to take a phone. Hey, I didn't hear from you, Jackie. Even the lady, poor lady, wants to keep silent to the day. Jackie, what happened to you? Are you okay? What happened to you? What happened to you? Nothing has happened to her. She decided to be silent. <laughs> we live in a noisy world which doesn't encourage reflection and listening to the voice of God. Challenge right away. Joseph listened to the Lord and pondered. Let's see what our gentleman Pope Francis says. Do not lose hope. St. Joseph also experienced moments of difficulty, but he never lost faith. He was able to overcome them in the certainty that God never abandons us. In all the history of salvation, there was difficulty. He had to take Mary and Jesus to Egypt. As it did in the apocryphal, people complain about Jesus. How come your boy is so arrogant? He's a God became man. He never lost his faith. He believed firmly that God, the Yahweh, was with him, never abandoned him. Today, as we celebrate the solemnity of Joseph, let's not forget that fathers of today's world, so much of challenge, so much of challenge in the world where we live in this society, single parents. Main problem of a society as a problem is a lack of father figure. Today, how can we expect a vocation, a good son, a good daughter from a family in society if the family is broken? That is a very, very important for a family to have a father figure. Even for me, sometimes I wonder, you go to kindergarten, most of the teachers are women, isn't it? Young women. It's good to have a male figure because I worked in fostering from experience in England, I can say. Sometimes children need that manhood, a fatherly figure. Otherwise, what happens is the world is different. Therefore, for a family to have a loving mother, a responsible father brings it that care. The whole understanding of this feast is the care of Joseph in that holy family plays a vital role to today's society. If our society has to bring in priests, religious men and women, and a good citizen of the country, that family should have a father who cares, a father who is righteous. We pray. Let's pray on this beautiful day of solemnity for all the fathers sung and unsung among us who seek to emulate the quiet presence of Joseph in the children's life. Today's gospel passage epitomizes the role of Joseph when faced with, for the lack of better description, a challenging situation. His first thought was for the dignity of Mary, then based solely on what must have been a wondrous but terrifying dream. He accepts his role as Jesus' father, and in taking this role, he wants to work alongside Mary to raise 
the Son of God, Jesus Christ. As we pray today through Saint Joseph, may God give us the grace to be just, to be gentle, in silence to ponder God's work, and to work towards the salvation of God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, O Lord. They never cease to praise you. Let's all stand for the prayers of the faithful. Trusting in the Lord's guidance so that we may do His will, let's bring our needs to our Heavenly Father. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the of the office, may all the spirits be your guides and act in the honor and dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. For families who suffer discord, may God's mercy work in and through them to bring about healing and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who offer the gift of their time to be safe and empty, may God bless their efforts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they rejoice in the perpetual light of Christ in heaven, and especially for James and me, for whom this man is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also remember Pat Crawley, Diana Ackerson, Elsa Girl, Burr, Rose Marsden, Brian Hennessy, Theodore Kahneman, Ralph Thomas Shimelek, Anna J. Tobin, Bill Dunn, Abhishek Rasmuk, Sapina Pele. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Merciful Lord God, hear and answer these prayers in accordance with your will. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, good of all creation, for to your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, good of all creation, for to your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We pray, O Lord, that just as St. Joseph served with loving care, your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with pure heart at your altar, to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, and the solemnity of St. Joseph to give you fitting praise to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as a spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set us as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit on our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, the minister those and powers tremble before you, heavens and virtues of heaven, and blesses are off and worship together with exaltation. May your voices we pray join with this in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray. 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered a village passion. He took bread giving thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was and they took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to the fellows worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, read together with Francis, our Pope, Prime Car, Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant James Noonan, whom you have called from this world to yourself, granted united in son and death like his. May also be one with him in the resurrection. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them, light of your face, of mercy in the soul, we pray. The Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, the Spouse, Blessed Apostles, St. Francis, St. Class, and Anthony, St. Peter and Paul, John of the Cross, and the rest, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages. Minute to be co has to turn alive. And may praise and glory for you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As we celebrate the solemnity of Joseph, the spouse of Blessed Virgin Mary, may God give us the grace to be just and in silence to listen to the will of God and say we come and form a divine teaching. We dare to say, Our Father, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious God, peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we will be always be free from sin and safe from all distress. So with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, the city of pastors, peace, I love you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, the faith of your church, and gracious to grant her peace and unity according to your will, will live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
As we celebrate the solemnity of Saint Joseph, let's reflect upon the unique call of Saint Joseph. He was a righteous man. He was just. In silence, he did the will of God. Today. We ponder that fatherly commitment to care for the protection that he provided for his son. We all must seek to imitate Saint Joseph's virtue by protecting the presence of Christ within our own hearts, the hearts of our family and friends, and in the world as a whole. Let's pray to Saint Joseph, asking him to help us follow his example, so that the hidden presence of the Lord in our lives will grow and come to full maturation. In the words of Pope Benedict Emeritus, 
let's allow ourselves to be infected by the silence of St. Joseph. May we be conquered by the silence that sought the will of God. We have much need of it in a world which is often too noisy, which does not encourage reflection and listening to the voice of God. Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy and courage and defend us from every evil. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Let us pray. Defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray, the family of nourished with the food from this altar. They rejoice the solemnity of Saint Joseph and graciously keep safe your gifts among them to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass ascended, go in the peace of Christ. And have a blessed day. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, Beyond my fears, from death into life. God is my shepherd, so nothing shall I want. I rest in the meadows of faithfulness and love. I walk by the quiet waters of peace. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my one, beyond my